see Denali for almost exactly one year from uh, when we purchased it in last December. Uh, won't go into the particulars of the statistics and things like that on this uh, this truck. Um, you can check out our other videos. I'll have links to that in the description. And uh, this, the purpose of this video is just to talk about uh, our experience with the truck for the last year. I've put over 36,000 miles on it in the last 12 months. Uh, it is a work truck for me. I spent a lot of time driving on job sites. Uh, also have some collector cars and we pull a 5,000 pound trailer with it. So it's like a 9,000 power pound uh, load. So the truck's got, uh, it's got some pretty uh, heavy service on it. And uh, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, some of the things we like about it, some of the things that uh, we didn't like so much, um, how it, uh, the, our driving experience for the past year, operating cost, and things of that nature. So uh, stay tuned. We'll go over it all. Thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. Say hi to Melissa. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, first item. Uh, something I'm not too thrilled with. The uh, there's the good and the bad of the uh, Apple uh, Apple CarPlay. It is a great idea in theory. Um, you hard connect with your USB to your Lightning port, and it uh, allows you to use some of the apps off of your phone on the uh, touchscreen display in the middle of the uh, truck. Uh, it works great a lot of the time, uh, but when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, it'll be connected, it'll be fine, you'll run to an end of a video, a, a, a song, or uh, I listen to a podcast, and then it just goes off. And I've seen actually the entire display, the uh, display in front of the driver and the display in front of the in, in the center console go blank for minutes at a time. Uh, you can at times disconnect and reconnect your device and it will reboot and it will work fine and then sometimes it just won't. It's a little cantankerous at times. So uh, that's the Apple CarPlay. Good when it's working but it's not always working. The back seats for the GMC Denali. Uh, if we have one thing to say about the space in the driver's side on the driver's seat and the passenger seat in the GMC Denali. It's an outstanding place to be. Plenty of room. Very comfortable. Nice materials. Uh, if you're sitting in the back, not so much. It's definitely a driver's truck. Uh, it's about five or six inches smaller than the uh, Ford F-150 crew cab and it's even smaller than the uh, Toyota that we were in recently. Um, also, it does not have heated or cooled seats, uh, which some of its competition does. Uh, there are no uh, ventilation controls at all in the back seat. And uh, it doesn't have air conditioning back there either. I think you have heat vents that come out from underneath the seats, but that's about all you get. So uh, it's, it's not the most popular place to be, especially on short trips when the car, the truck hasn't had time to heat up or cool off. So back seats, I have probably a little room for improvement there. On a positive note, the uh, truck with the crew cab, ton of room in the front, plenty of room in the back. We actually store a lot of stuff in the back seats. Like we have a, uh, actually we have a dog, a large dog carrier that we're bringing home today uh, in the back. The uh, five and a half foot, foot bed is outstanding for day-to-day -day activities, uh, but it can be about a foot short for a lot of things that you want to put back in there. But uh, generally speaking, it's a, it's a good sized truck. It, with the crew cab, it does add enough length that it can be a little difficult to find and park. Isn't that right, honey? Yes. <laughs> but uh, it, it can definitely be done. Sometimes you have to walk a little bit. Uh, with the six and a half foot bed, especially if you have a trailer hitch on the back, then you really have to kind of plan your trip a little bit. Comfort wise, uh, this truck is one of the uh, best I've ever ridden in or driven in. Uh, we've done 1,200 miles pulling a trailer with this truck, and uh, it's a good place to be. It's, it does not exhaust you over time, um, and it's a very comfortable ride. So uh, have to uh, give them a thumbs up for 
ride quality. It's almost car-like, is it not? It is. It's very smooth. Big plus on the uh, Denali over some of the other brands, especially the Denali version of the Sierra 1500. The looks. Uh, there is chrome all over this truck. The uh, front grille is enormous and chrome. Uh, it's just the type of vehicle that gets the front spot next to the valet uh, when you go to park it at a restaurant. Another plus that I love, and I know you like too, Melissa, the uh, remote start. Huh? Yes. Uh, what is it? It's 41 degrees outside today. There's nothing like looking out the window and starting the truck up, and a couple minutes later when you get out there, the truck is all nice, warm, and cozy when you get in it. Um, a lot of vehicles that have that now. Uh, one of the first vehicles that we've had that uh, that use it, and when it's hot in the summer and it's cool in the winter, boy, it's a great benefit to have. Well done. Another positive is the what? The phone app. The phone app, the GMC phone app that comes on. Uh, I know it comes on the Apple phone. I assume it comes on uh, the Android products too. But uh, you can pull up the app on your telephone and you can start your truck remotely from wherever you are so if you're on the other side of the mall and you want to get that truck warmed up a little bit a little bit early uh, it can help you out there it's also great for uh, alerting you of any service issues if there's something going on with the truck it'll send a message to you and alert you that uh, something needs to be done not just preventive maintenance and things of that nature but if there's a uh, um, problem with the operation of the truck you'll get messages to that uh, uh, to that extent. Uh, you can also, and I use this and it's very easy, is schedule your service visits on there and uh, it will remind you by email. So uh, uh, the phone communication and technology uh, as far as the the GMC app is concerned is outstanding. All right, what's your, uh, what's your favorite part of the GMC Denali, Melissa? The seats. I love the heaters. They're nice and toasty. <laughs> they keep your bums warm. <laughs> yeah, they're they're fast too. I, the the steer the seats and the steering wheel. The steering wheel actually gets so warm that uh, it's almost uh, uncomfortable after the first thirty seconds or so. So kudos to GMC for that. Uh, all right. So what's your worst part? Parking it. Parking it because of the size. Yes. All right, so you're going to back it up between these two lines right here. Is that the plan? Mm -hmm. We have the backup monitor. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's acceptable. <laughs> Sometimes you got to. Not really. I think you're doing an outstanding job, sweetheart. This is a weird parking spot. That's it. Do you want me to get out and see how we did? I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was at an odd angle, too. This is kind of an angled spot. The monitor helps the backup camera. It does. And it's got great resolution. Uh, and the one thing I noticed is with the bumper. When the bumper says it's at the edge of the curb, it's at the edge of the curb. Okay. Well executed, we are. So what's your opinion about how it rides? It's nice and smooth. It's um, just because I don't drive it very much, it's kind of, um, it feels like it floats a little bit, but I think that's just because I don't drive it much. You could drive it more if you wanted. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, question that everyone asks, gas mileage. Uh, what kind of gas mileage can you get with this truck? Um, this does have the uh, step down cylinder I'm sure there's a technical name for that uh, but when the trucks not under load it will actually revert from uh, using eight cylinders to four cylinders and that can really make a difference I uh, took a couple opportunities to check it out on my way to work and this is during rush hour traffic in the morning uh, I drive about 20 miles about three quarter of it is interstate and a quarter of it is uh, um, side roads and I got 29.2 miles per gallon on a about an 18 mile drive uh, for a full size V8 truck that is outstanding. On the other side, uh, pulling a trailer uh, with this 5.3 liter that I have in here now, 
Um, it's a 9,000 pound uh, total enclosed trailer. Uh, does tend to tax the gas mileage at times. It uh, averaged eight to eight and a half miles a gallon, and I think our range was around 140 miles. Okay, overall, so we've had the truck for a year. We put 36,000 miles on it. Um, pretty heavy service, I would think, for a uh, lot more than what's average for uh, your standard truck. Um, and uh, we've really had some great experiences. It's been great for long trips. Awesome pulling the trailer, great for day-to-day -day activities as far as what we load in the bed and load in the back of the truck. Um, so I, uh, I'm gonna have to give GMC a thumbs up. What issues have we had in the first 36 mile, 36,000 miles of ownership? Uh, the dealership gave us an option when we purchased the truck for uh, oil changes were free for the first 36,000 miles. So zero maintenance cost. I haven't spent anything after that first hundred bucks or so when we bought the truck on uh, maintenance. And it has been, except for the little uh, weird things going on with the Apple Play, we haven't had any service issues at all right to within a couple hundred miles of the uh, 36,000 mile um, warranty when that runs out. Uh, the only issue that we had was just within the last month. Um, there's a vibration when the truck is cold and it's under a small load, like you're going up a little hill or something like that, where uh, it feels like the transmission is hunting. Um, took that to the dealer and they handled it under warranty, replaced the transmission uh, fluid and uh, said it was good to go. We're going to continue to watch it. Have talked to some people and they said that you may need to remap the computer as far as how the truck uh, changes gears. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. But other than that, uh, for 36,000 miles in a year, this truck has held up and been outstanding. So kudos to GMC for that. Yeah. You love it enough you want to drive it every day? No. <laughs> <laughs> she still likes her convertible. I do. I'll say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for watching the Fall Octane Garage. If you like our videos, feel free to leave us a thumbs up, a comment, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you soon at the Fall Octane Garage. Run that light, sweetheart. That's yellow. That's not yellow. It was yellow. <laughs> if I would have been in my car, I would have finished it while it was still yellow. <laughs> it wouldn't have turned red on me. Did you just drive on the grass for a second? I don't think so. I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go back and look. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Looks like a tire mark to me. <laughs> we'll just keep it to ourselves.